Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This is Shadow Fury 33 with a match between Steel Blue and Rymark because tonight is Rymark night. Because he happened to be playing a lot of games, and I looked at the replay list, and people weren't asking for games this week. So, or today. So it's going to be him against Steel Blue, who we've seen against against before. Although I don't remember Steel Blue's style quite as well because Rymark is rather fresh in my mind. So now Steel Blue is starting out in the northeast side of the map, going for a jump at Jet Factory. My goodness, jump jets have gotten popular recently. Which, they probably should, they have been kind of buffed a bit recently, but... Still, very popular. Rymark also going for jump bots. This is Jump Bot City. I... I think every match I've cast to today has had jump bots for at least one player. I think. Oh, no, never mind. On Ravage, though, it was Cloakkeeper's Shield. That's right. So the first game did not have jump bots. Every game since has. Pyro start for Rymark, and three Pyros and Freaker for Steel Blue. So Steel Blue going for a much more aggressive start than Rymark, which is no surprise. Rymark is going to be going for a defensive strategy, most likely. He already has a few defenders set up. He tends to go for defense. We've seen in the last couple games, he likes his static defense. But he does have one Pyro up and nothing built afterwards. Not sure what he's planning on doing. He does have his commander up for 12 build power. That's the only reason he's upgraded. No modules, just 12 build power. Because modules add to the metal cost of upgrading, which is why Rymark doesn't do that. Anyway, Rymark does have radaring instead of as the Pyro comes in for Steel Blue, so this radar probably not going to last too long. Steel Blue will be aware of what Rymark is up to, what he's up that it's a mirror match. Another jump up mirror match. Getting hit by the defenders, which is, by the way, not the best defense against Pyros. The best defense is Lotuses, by far. But this Pyro will go down to the second defender, and once this defender reloads, it will go down, however, it's going to take out a couple of puppies in the Well, no! The one puppy is going to take it out, so that does finish it off. Only deals enough damage to kill one wind generator. However, there are two more coming afterwards. Steel Blue did go for three pyros while Rymark went for one, and the one Rymark scout pyro is going to die. If you able to get through, actually, the <laughs> Steel Blue's pyros go past it, leaving it, leaving it open. That, this one is offside. That's all I got to say. The defenders just went on the... Just, no, that's just not right. I'm calling it offside. That should not happen. There's no one in goal. Well, anyway, thanks for that. A melee extractor goes down, and... These two pyros fail to defend against one. So Steel Blue kind of... over-eager to jump there. Now, Ramark, on the other hand... Let's see, what he has so far, he has... Well, decent radar on, the west, on his side of the map. Steel Blue... He... does he have radar yet? He does not. Purely on line of sight. No radar current... oh, radar is planned. He's going for much more forward radar. He does want to make sure he has good vision in the center of the map. Rymark, as I just showed, does not have great vision in the center of the map, but he does have solid vision of his side, which isn't saying much at the moment, but it does mean that once stuff goes over his half of the map, he knows it's there. He needs radar in the center. He needs radar in the center. That's a thing. However, this metal extractor that was taken out has been put in by the offside pyro. Yep. I, I don't know. That I, just shouldn't count. Uh, can't really say I agree with that decision. Refs are blind. Anyway, Steel Blue is going to be going for a counterattack, and Rymark does have his defenders set up. These two will be able to take care of this pyro without much issue. Well, okay, once the commander chips in a bit. Actually, one of them is going to go down, never mind, and... A, Few puppies gonna be able to take out the rest of the pyros though, so once again, Rymark able to take out a fair amount with his puppies. Getting more puppies on top of that, and he does have a pyro as well. Looks like he has one pyro to Steel Blue's three, so Steel Blue focusing very heavy on pyros. Rymark focusing instead on puppies, which has been working out pretty well for him. I mean, they do work well against pyros, but at the same time, he might want to get some heavier forces when he wants to actually break through Steel Blue's defenses. That being said, we know that Rymark is a defensive player. We know that he's a player who prefers to build up going from his side of his base out, like starting from his corner and moving out. While Steel Blue also kind of like that, but he's focusing more on the east side. Neither of them seems to be going for particularly bold moves where they take the center and then try to expand backwards from there, as we saw in the games against Corvus Corax. Where Corvus was doing that a fair amount. Now, both players are being fairly safe, playing in their base, although, like I said, Steel Blue is focusing more on the east side, while Rymark focusing on the south side. Interesting distinction, but it probably won't matter too much, unless Rymark does attack from the west side, which is fully undefended. Both players actually have nothing there right now. 
So very open, easy way to put in attacks. And Rymark right now, I should point out, does not know what Steel Blue is up to at all. Has no knowledge besides some historical knowledge of what was on in his base. And that was from about five minutes ago. That was way too old. And I know it's, the game is just now the five minute mark. That's what I mean. It's old. It might as well be older than the game itself for how relevant it is. That being said, now he's aware there's something coming in, but not sure what. Rymark, on the other hand, he knows he knows it's on the east side of the map. He does have line of sight over some of the pyros here, but he doesn't know what's going on inside Rymark's base either. So neither player has a great set of vision of the other's base. Neither one can really make any decisions. They're trying to scout out still. A bit surprised that Rymark has not sent a few puppies around the map just to scout out like fleas. They will die, yes. They might kill things in the process, but they will find out what's going on. Or put them in a hole fire and have them just not explode. Hole fire or retaliate fire, actually. They're on attack when attacked. That'd be perfect. they take care of any pyros that they encounter, but they wouldn't actually blow up innocuous buildings when you want to just know what's going on. Oh, speaking of pyro, this one's about to go... Ooh, not quite about to go down. Nice jump kiting by Steel Blue. Very impressive. Jump... Well, kite them right into a bunch of defenders as well. Looks like these guys are... His last two Pyros are still alive, so Pyro can't easily get him. No, one of them... Actually, both of them go down to Defender. Not the best place to be, unfortunately. And Steel Blue, not yet building up more... Sorry, Rymark not building up more radar. Neither is Steel Blue. Both players are confident with the radar they have right now, which, frankly, is inadequate. It looks like Rymark might be building up some extra... Uh, building up more Defenders. As to be expected at this point, he's building up more Defenders. As three Pyros are about to come in through the center, and one through the east side of the map... A jack up for Rymark should check his production. He is going for a few puppies and then into a sumo, straight into a sumo from a defense from a defensive position while Steel Blue going for the Firewalker choice. Which, given how defensive Rymark has been, is not a bad idea. But then again, Steel Blue has been fairly defensive on the east side of the map as well. And it's paying off. This jack is actually going to go down, only destroying a single defender. Not able to do too much, unfortunately, for it. So Rymark right now does have a bit of an encroaching presence towards the center. Getting some puppies around to take care of this, and he does encounter those pyros. He is not, he's aware of them. He has radar coverage of that area, so he does know that they're there. And what the heck? Sorry, one sec. I'm, I'm sorry. Give me a second. I need to pause the... Shoot. We'll be back in a second. Slight technical difficulties. Don't know how that happened. Okay. We're back. Sorry about that. Anyway. The UI apparently crashed. I didn't know that it was possible. Anyway, back to the game. We have... Rymark's Commander dead! I'm sorry I missed the lead up to that, but yeah, the Pyros apparently have gone down. And back to... Rymark is still... Oh, okay. So, apparently Chili determines the team colors, and now Rymark is now blue. Rymark was red, now he's blue. Sorry about that. Anyway, Steel Blue still has his Pyros. Rymark still has his Sumo coming in, but lost his commander, which is not actually a big of a blow. He's got a decent economic advantage over Steel Blue right now. Though Steel Blue does have a territory advantage, he can convert into an economic advantage quite quickly. I mean, Steel Blue has the, the north side, he has the east side. He hasn't taken this metal extractor yet, but he can take this one, this one, and to a lesser extent, these two. While Rymark can barely take the southwest side of the map. Barely. These two pyros are blocking out this metal extractor, and to a lesser extent, this metal extractor over here next to it. Not much that Rymark can do to push forward. He is going to try to break out with the sumo. I'm not confident. I think a firewalker would be the better choice, given the amount of defenders set up on the east side of the map. Given just the sheer amount of defense set up around the map. And, like I said, that is what... There we go. That's what Steel Blue is up to. Getting a firewalker himself, which, given how much... Okay. Given how much Rymark tends to defend, good idea. Rymark should just follow that particular idea as well. Sumo is not quite as effective at dealing with static defense. It is good at it. It's fine at it, but Firewalker can do it without getting damaged itself. Although Sumo accidentally putting itself to a pit, as it tends to do when jumping. I think this map actually got fairly soft ground. Come to think of it, I believe this is not a particularly hard map. But I could be wrong. The Sumo jump crater might be irrelevant to that. I think the hardness does matter for the Sumo jump crater. Anyway... Yeah, so, Firewalker's up, tearing apart some of the defenses. The Sumo's just out of the base, just now marching towards Steel Blue's defenses, and Steel Blue should be aware of this right now. Oops. Okay, that is confusing. 
Because Steel Blue is still player one. He's just red now. I don't know. Anyway, Steel Blue is aware of something coming in, doesn't know what it is. Rymark, well aware of the Firewalker, has to be right now. I'm trying to get rid of simple team colors and redo that. Sorry about this, I know it's kind of... Technical issues are a pain in the butt sometimes. Live, everybody! Okay, this is probably silly to do right now. Actually, let's see if I can get the team colors back to the way they were. And it's taking me more than five seconds, so no. So, Steel Blue setting his Firewalkers in a good position. The Sumo not pushing in yet. What is Rymark waiting for? He's got a... Well, he's got a Moderator coming in as well. He's got a Firewalker of his own. Good choice. Like I said, kind of needs that. Steel Blue, however, now has an economic advantage with the Reclaim. And the Sumo has moved in. Taking a bit of damage from Fire, but not a whole lot. A nice play place jump would get rid of these Pyros. And it's about to do that, but the Pyros jump just in time. Very nice move by Steel Blue. Just waiting for that Sumo to jump. Make the first move, which it really... Had no choice but to do. It's his main attack is the jump, but doesn't matter. The sumo goes down. And with that, Rymarks lost 2,000 metal worth. And that was most of his army there. He went from 4,000 army to 2,000 army just with the loss of that sumo. Huge blow. At this point, I'm not sure what Rymark can do. He's getting up some stingers. He's trying to take what map control he can. Trying to take what melee strategies he can. He casually has the west side a bit more securely now. The pyros that were there have gone. But at the same time... Getting a Firewalker to try to break this. A better choice, but still a lot of powers to contend with. And no puppies to work with, or moderators to work with, really. Moderators would be a wonderful thing to have right now against these Pyros, but doesn't have those. Or switch to Cloaky and get a bunch of Rockos. It could work too. Nothing, though. Nothing, really. At the same time, we have Steel Blue going for just pure Pyro spam. And setting up for what looks like to be the final attack. Just offhandedly taking care of a metal extractor before going into the base proper. And this is going to be it. I think Rymark has one shot here. Firewalker's just done. If it can defend against the Pyros, that will work out decently well. But then again, a Firewalker coming in from Steel Blue. And down goes all of the wind generators. These Pyros are going to be tearing apart everything. A few puppies to try to defend, but even that's not going to be enough. The Pyros do retreat. They don't go for the kill. And these puppies actually have a lot of reclaim to work with. But these puppies look like they're trying to lure out the... Sorry, Pyros look like they're trying to lure out the puppies somewhat. And it doesn't even matter. The puppies don't live long enough. Moderator is up, however. But one is clearly not enough. And down it goes. More moderators being constructed. And a Firewalker to follow. But it doesn't matter. Rymark throws in the towel. That is game. And that is going to be it for me tonight. So I hope you enjoyed that. Technical issues aside. And, oh, never mind. Rymark pointing out that moderators are batting as Pyros. Okay, for Jump Pod Factory, it looks like puppies are the best bet then. Because everything else seems to not be able to... It's a, this Pyro's speed is really high. But yeah, other skirmishers do pretty well against Pyros. I guess moderators don't. Oh well, anyway. That was game, so I hope you enjoyed that. And I will be finishing up for tonight. So thank you all for watching, and have a good night, everybody.